All right, hello, Mr. Beyond here with your science lesson for today. So far, we, we are looking at reactions. We've just been looking at balancing. They've been given to you. You don't have to worry about what the reaction is happening. You just have to know to balance thanks to the law of conservation of mass. But reactions can be broken down into a few different types of reactions, okay? And it's important to know the different types of reactions because down the line, we want to be able to predict what's going to happen to a given compound when it undergoes a certain type of reaction. So the four main types that we're going to be looking at, there are more, but the four main ones that we are going to be looking at in this class are synthesis, decomposition, single, and double displacement. So a single, or sorry, a synthesis reaction, RxN is just shorthand for reaction, is when you have two or more substances that come together, combine to make one substance, okay? So when two things come together to make one substance. So that would be something like say, element A and element B combining to make compound AB, whatever that is. On the other, other hand, we've got a decomposition reaction. And a decomposition reaction is when you have one substance and then it breaks down into two or more simpler substances. Okay, so this is kind of like synthesis, but in reverse. So again, we would start with something complicated, some sort of compound, AB, and to decompose it, we would just be breaking it down into A plus B. Single displacement is a reaction when one element replaces another inside a compound. So if I have AB and I introduce some element C, say C is a non-metal and B is a non-metal, then C may replace the B, swap out, and then the B is all by itself. And then we have double displacement which is a reaction where the two positive ions in a compound switch places. Now generally we just say positive ion just to keep it consistent, but I suppose technically you could also say that the negative ions switch, uh, but the important thing is that if the positive switches with the positive, the positive can't switch with a negative. So what I mean is if I have AB, where A is a metal, B is a non-metal, and I've got CD, again C is a metal, D is a non-metal, the only possible double displacement that can happen here is switching places on these. So we end up with, I'm just gonna write it down here, A, D plus C, B. Again, what I've done here is I have swapped the B and the D around, or you could look at it and say that I swapped the C and the A around. Whichever way, it doesn't really matter. But what I can't do is say have the C switch with the B. It's not going to be possible because both A and C are the positive ions. B and D would be the negative ions, right? We know that when we say that A and C are metals, metals are positive ions. B and D would then have to be non-metals. Non-metals tend to be negative ions. Um, again, we're dealing with theoretical compounds here. Okay, so in your practice, you will see actual compounds and you will be able to then identify what types of reactions they are. Okay, that is it for types of reactions.